Good morning, friends. Happy Monday. Today is the 18th day of May, and you are 158 days smarter today, my friends. Our last sight word that we are responsible for is sight word it. Um, and by that, I mean that's the last uh, sight word that we will be learning for our test. So next week, we will be testing you on all the sight words that you know. We will have two extra sight words, but you won't have to know those on the test, okay? They're just bonus sight words. And we have a new digraph, Q U, as in queen. Qua, qu, qu. It's more like a qu sound, okay? Not qua, but like qu. And some examples are well, queen, quilt, quail, quarter, quiet, question, question mark, quack. Q-tip, Q, Q, <laughs> quesadilla starts with Q-U. <laughs> I know it's a Spanish word, but there aren't too many words that start with Q, U. But it's a digraph that we need to know, okay, my friends? All right. Um, let's check in with our feelings today. Let moms and dads and grandparents know how you're feeling, okay, and why you're feeling the way you're feeling. Okay, it's really important. I know we do that every day, but it's really important to to let everybody know, well, your family know how you're feeling, okay? Um, and during class, because maybe something happened right before class that's making you sad, and we should talk about it, okay? All right, take your friends. So, this is your new daily checklist. Uh, there you go. It says Tidecraft QU, sight word it, and the little picture of the queen. Same picture that I have back there. Okay, and it says Monday. So Mondays are the only days you have four things to do because of the poem. You have a crab poem, an it page, a math page, and a writing page. Okay, all the other days you'll have three things to do. Okay, there are some may do's. Some friends have been working on may do's, and there are extra um, worksheets that you would like, if you would like, are there for you to work on. Okay, all right, let's start with our crab. So I made my little crab. I made an oval body. I made four legs on this side, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, and four legs on this side. It has two claws, okay? So those are separate, okay? And it has two eyes. They're kind of raised above its head like that. So this is a cartoon drawing. This is not a real drawing of a crab, okay? I tried my best. And it has a title. All, most poems have titles, crab. It tells the reader what they're going to be reading about. And we have lots of sight words that we know. All right, it says, The crab likes to walk sideways, and I think that I know why. It is to make himself look sneaky and pretend that he is a spy. All right, we know the... I know this, is, this says likes, but I just highlighted like because we know sight word like. To and I, I. It, oh, sight word, it is and he is a All right tk friends so and we will be talking about crabs today during our zoom meeting um i will also be putting some videos on um your seesaw account so that you can um watch the same videos if you don't get to join us during our zoom meeting okay this is your it page you already know what to do let's take a look at what it looks like in the ice cream sandwich the I is in the vanilla and the dot goes above. All right, we start our T at the top, go down, and then cross. Okay? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now, it is referring to something, not a person. When you're referring to a person, you're, you're going to say he or she or people, they. When you're talking about it, like a bird, it is blue. Or the TV, it is black. Or your couch, it is brown. Are you referring to something, a thing, okay? Not a person, okay? Ah, here's your math. You already know what to do, my friends. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let me just read it to you. It says, Mackenzie had five ladybugs in her jar. She put three more ladybugs in. Sorry. <laughs> How many ladybugs are in the jar in all? And all means you're adding. You already know what to do, my friends. Um, 
if you use two colors, one for five and one for three, it's easier to see them in your 10 frame and your drawing, okay? Do you have to? No. Especially now that you understand what math um, these problems, these word problems are like. These are all addition. But sometimes, you know, when you get more practice, your teacher's going to mix in addition and subtraction problems. We will get to subtraction problems, I promise. I just want us to do enough practice on this, okay? All right, TK fans. All right, and your free write. So let me go back to my little picture of ideas. So, you know, I decided to write about a quesadilla. I might have been hungry last night when I did this. So my title is lunch because I'm going to be talking about what I had for lunch. And I drew some quesadillas, an apple, and milk. So I'm pretty sure that these pictures should match what I wrote about, right? That's what we've talked about. So I should be talking about quesadillas, milk, milk, and apples, right? So let's see. It says, I had a cheese quesadilla for lunch. I also ate an apple and drank milk. My lunch was yummy. Okay? So make sure your pictures match what you're talking about. You've all done a great job with that. And that you have a title. Okay? It can be one or two words and it has to talk about, it has to tell the reader what they're going to talk about. So if my title said cats, that would be absolutely wrong. That would not be correct. If it said whales, that would not be right. If it said clock, no. If it said the house, that would be wrong as well. Okay? Easy peasy lemon squeezy, my friends. Okay? I hope that you are able to share your um, sentences and stories during our Zoom meeting today, okay? So try to have those ready if you do anything. You can do the rest of the work after, okay? Um, I think that's all for this week. Friday, our, our spirit day is wear blue. So wear anything that's blue. We're trying to wear all blue on Friday, okay? Uh, have a good morning and see you during our meeting. Bye-bye, friends.